as you're, you're going to hear more momentarily from the director of the Texas Department of Public Safety who will elaborate on what I'm about to say. Over the past calendar year, the Texas Department of Public Safety and law enforcement here in Texas, they have seized enough fentanyl to kill every man, woman, and child in each of the states gathered here. I said that wrong. Every man, woman, and child in all of the states gathered here combined. That is how deadly this is. Doses to kill more than 222 million Americans are sweeping our states for one reason only. Joe Biden does not care that fentanyl is invading our states. If, if you look at the population group between the ages of 18 and 45, the leading cause of death over the past year is not COVID, is not cancer, it's not car wrecks. The leading cause of death of our fellow Americans ages 18 to 45 is fentanyl. And President Biden is doing nothing to address that fentanyl problem. The fentanyl is coming in from China through Mexico into the United States. Joe Biden does not care that people are dying today because of the open border policies that is allowing fentanyl to come into our country. There is another horrific crime occurring as a result of Biden's refusal to enforce the immigration laws because of Biden's open invitation provided to the cartels to smuggle across our border victims of human trafficking and to continue to perpetuate that human trafficking across America. Either all of the states represented here today or almost all of the states rep represented here today, they have human trafficking going on in their states as a result of the Biden open border policies. Joe Biden doesn't care about victims of human trafficking. If he cared, he would step up and do something about it.